You have an asymmetric link. Mm -hmm. You have a high bandwidth from the serializer to the deserializer, which we call uh, downstream, which is uh, here typically 8 gigabit per second. And we have on the opposite direction, the, the upstream slower bandwidth with 200 megabit per second. Hey, it's Eamon Wolder, Happy Exchange at Embedded World 2024. We're on the Worth Electronics booth and you might recognize this demo. Arno came to our party, the IP Exchange TKO party last night, which we usually have on the, the second day of Embedded World. And yeah, we got chatting and it turns out he's here. So uh, Arno, would you like to refresh our audience on this demo of Valence's chip, which basically takes USB connectivity to a ridiculous length compared to the specification. Yeah, sure, absolutely. So we have the VS6320, which is actually a USB extension. You can go with USB 3.2 up to 100 meter. It's symmetrical 6 gigabit per second link. And no matter what device you put on the, on the device side, the host sees it as it would be included or attached locally. So nice. if you unplug it, you would see the, the camera scan and when you replug it, then the computer will detect like you attach a USB camera, you will see camera spec there. That's it. Cool. So with 100 meters of cabling, what uh, application areas do you see this as like a key winning product? Yeah, I think the one application which is uh, Everything industrial, industrial vision, oh, yes. where, where you have inspection, you have USB devices, mainly of course cameras, which are located somewhere in the, in the production plant and you have a control computer or a super, uh, super wising uh, control room that you can actually see the, the image or you record it uh, on, a, on a PC. Cool, so um, I can see, because it's very clearly labeled as the evaluation kit for the VS6320. How does it work? Yeah, the evaluation kit is done like host side and the device side, but the chip is always the same chip inside. Okay. So it's actually uh, just a configuration if it's a playing the device role or playing the host role. Oh. oh, cool. So in terms of designing, obviously that chip is much smaller than the evaluation platform. How, how compact can you get this for, like say, an industrial design where you have a lot of cameras in maybe hard to reach places is within a production line. Yeah, of course, it's it's the roundings yeah. of the chip. You don't need so much additional components. Okay, good. Uh, because it's like a tunnel. You you have the USB in into the chip, okay. and you're going out. You have a, on that side, unfortunately, you can't see it in uh, mm. because the box is closed. Yeah. But we have a magnetic on the HD-based T-Link okay. side. So in, in terms of integration, it's actually not very many components to build around it. Uh, usually, our evaluation kits are of bigger size, oh, no, yeah, because course. we have pin headers here, yeah. you can see it better because it's open. We have pin headers, we have dip switches for various evaluation purposes and this is, that makes the evaluation kit bigger than it could be in a real product. Cool. So this one is, to, this, is this one of the evaluation kits for the MIPI A5 standard? Yes, that's right. That's a VA7000 family, mm -hmm. which is two chips, just okay. in contrast to okay. the one chip uh, solution. You have an asymmetric link. Mm -hmm. You have a high bandwidth from the serializer to the deserializer, which we call uh, downstream, which is uh, here typically 8 gigabit per second. And we have on the opposite direction, the, the upstream slower bandwidth with 200 megabit per second. Okay. What kind of things can you connect to this kit for testing? Yeah. So here, the, it's a modular approach that makes mm -hmm. it uh, bigger. You can see here as well, it dip switches and different board to board connectors. Mm -hmm. The actual chip is of course much smaller yeah. to fit uh, later in a camera. You can see it's a kind of Lego mm -hmm. brick uh, approach. Uh, with a lot of varieties of sub boards which can be plugged in. We have for connectivity uh, boards because there's for uh, several use cases you have different connectors, different cable types. Oh, okay, yeah, we yeah. can uh, have typical connectors which are used in automotive. We can have also RG45 connector for a cat cable or for okay. coax cable or for unshielded twisted pair, shielded differential pair, whatever the application wants to use. And on this side, which is the, the camera interface. We have also a plug-in uh, board to board connection for plugging in various uh, sub-modules for uh, optical cameras, for radars, for LiDARs. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, nice. I also understand from the previous videos that we've done about Balance that you can consolidate a lot of 
signals into very simple cabling. So other than the camera connector, how would you kind of test the ability to add to consolidate control signals or yeah. the power lines within a simple cable? Yeah, so we, here we, we can, of course, also tunnel various uh, signals. That's why the side, uh, the, the band uh, mm. upstream with 200 megabit per second is there. We can tunnel I2C, we can tunnel SPI for controlling our sensors. We can have GPIOs, we have a PWM generator in there, which can be used for various use cases like uh, attaching LEDs uh, okay, for, yeah. uh, for illumination. This can be synchronized to shutters. It's quite flexible machine, like uh, having extra CPLD in there. This can be configured for, for these purposes. Cool. In terms of connecting these together, how would you recommend doing it in terms of the cabling? Is there, is, are you using a connector here or is there, yeah, how does that work? Yeah, the, this is the, these are the, the daughter boards, which I mentioned, okay. which then have the real connection. Of okay. course, in a real application, you wouldn't do a daughter board just to house yeah, the connector. Yeah. You would, of course, route it to directly yeah. to the onboard connector. Okay. And uh, this is up to the user and the application to decide which uh, connector is, is to be used. Oh, so that was when you were mentioning the like kind of cat, uh, the cat cables. Cat and, cable. Um, uh, oh, okay. But cool. it, I think the main application uh, we see is, is coax or unshielded twisted pair. Unshielded okay. twisted pair because it's a very, very easy, very lightweight yeah. uh, cabling. Uh, you can go up to 10 meters with unshielded twisted pair. Cool. Okay. So, yeah, depends on the application. Cool. So, uh, I think that was a pretty good um, overview of quite a few different uh, Valens products. And, um, yeah, great to see this in person, because obviously I haven't seen this in person, because I wasn't at CES. But um, really great to meet you, Arno. And, um, yeah, yeah, check out Valens you. if you want to streamline your cabling and um, send it a very, very long way.